Now to the case of the missing Rexburg children. Tonight we are taking a look into Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell's religious beliefs. It's something those who know the couple have spoken about, some characterizing it as doomsday. This afternoon, our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with a religious studies expert to shed a little light on the topic. She's in the newsroom now with what they had to say in the status of Vallow's upcoming court hearing. Shira. Mark, we're taking a look at both of those topics as multiple investigative agencies are meeting today in Salt Lake City to discuss details in connection with Lori Vallow and her missing kids as well as the deaths surrounding those cases. Ms. Daybell, do you understand what's been alleged in count five? On Wednesday, Lori Vallow's attorneys filed two motions. One, to postpone the preliminary hearing scheduled for March 18th and 19th until May, citing both sides need more time to exchange and review discovery. The second motion requests the presiding judge of the case be removed. State of Idaho versus Lori Noreen Vallow. 24 hours later, we learned Madison County prosecuting attorney Rob Wood. Your Honor, the defendant has a history of defying court orders. Filed an objection to that motion. Vallow's attorneys responded, but this time filing a motion for disqualification for cause, stating that any party to a case may disqualify a judge for cause if, quote, the judge is biased or prejudiced for or against any party or that party's case. According to the court documents, Judge Farron Eddins is currently presiding over the child protection action in connection with this case. Criminal defense lawyer and former Attorney General David Leroy tells KTVB Judge Eddins makes the final decision on whether he will recuse himself from the case or appeal the motion, all depending on whether he thinks he has the ability to be impartial. These documents come as we're now getting a more in-depth look into the religious beliefs of Vallow and her new husband, Chad Daybell. Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow, for, for the most part, are Mormon. Dr. Christina Rossetti has a Ph.D. in religious studies and is an independent scholar who studies Mormon fundamentalism and Mormon groups not part of the LDS Church. She says Mormonism in general has more than 400 different groups or churches that fall under the title of Mormon, and some have things in common and some don't. She shed light on Vallow and Daybell. In general, they are a couple that believes in preparing, so the prepper movement. Um, but he's also talked about the Church of the Firstborn, talked about the 144,000 in the end times. Um, so they're very much, they have a very strong focus on the end times and the last days. Some are questioning why the couple was still attending church services if they didn't share the same beliefs something Dr. Rossetti addressed. There is a long history of Mormons who kind of believe in additional things or different things from the institution still attending LDS Church. Um, and there's also a tradition of fundamentalist Mormons who are part of separate institutions and separate churches continuing to attend LDS Church and going to the temple, being full participants. Now, as for Vallow's court case, her attorneys are requesting the preliminary hearing be rescheduled for May 7th and 8th. David Leroy tells me the judge would first have to make a decision on whether he will recuse himself or appeal that motion for him to be removed before making a decision about the preliminary hearing. Mark? All right, very interesting, Shira. Thank you.